What's up, Wolf Map Nation? Cody here back from another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Let's just see what level um, this person is. I don't know if I even got to the right person. Nope, not checking details. Star Badge Poison. I think they're across the mountain over there. We have to go down this way because they'll complain about us going that way. If I remember correctly, right? Boom, boom, boom. We probably should do this a good Pokemon to fight the Team Star person, too. Oh my god. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Run away. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's go to boxes. Put up Haunter. Where are you? Dumbo's gonna be up first. And we'll bring you right there. I didn't know what that was, so I had to see it. It was a, a fungus, a mungus. And what's going on? The battle's <laughs> very slow, apparently. Let's collab. A Cody. Hey there, Clavel. As I told you, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now let's pick up a conversation before we look up before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to solve a uh, sticky situation and I find out the reasons behind Team Star's our behavior. After all, I want to know what the students. And Team Star Jar came to uh, stop down to school. I'm Team I'm Clive. I just like Cassiopeia. I wanted them to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfire with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. And then I'll see you around. <clears throat> All right. Grievance. Now what? All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, prepare to uh, face my wrath. Bring it on. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we get so far away, though? You stuff. Bum, 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 bum. We should be able to end this Team Star base really quickly, too. Shredder. Another one. Bum, bum, bum. Prince City! Bona! Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we beat this dude. We just face off. Tell you, you alright. I was standing watching when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. Don't worry, there may be something that happened to you over here. No fair, you had back out this whole time? Is this boy, one of the Academy students, he doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're out, not only Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Cody, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. 
Why not borrow you for a chat to my uh, man? Uh, don't worry, I won't bite. Don't trust him. Tall, 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 tall. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss Atticus designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. He's, the guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can even tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declar declaration of war, just take out as many of the swallows Pokemon as you can until I hit shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to take off the face of the operation. It's time to want the Navi squad from the face of the earth. What? Yep. Let's do this. Bow! Bow, 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 bow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there, this folks over to start full of what? Yep, 30, 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes, we know. Ugh. Why is my uh, Dawn fan thing out here? Survivor! Pa 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 Come on, guys. Where is the Pokemon? There we go. Banana. And some murder. Come on, come on. This is so weird. Come on, Dass. Interesting. Interesting to do. We're above our level, we got to the boss. So cool. At least you got some good music when you're waiting. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. Or that scoundrel Cody I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your deserved fate. On guard. Mm -mm. Come on. Mm -mm. Alright, so that's Stunky. Get in there, Jumbo. What level are you? Yeah, okay, that's cool. 32, that's easy. Mwah, mwah, mwah. What you got next? No. I have room. Okay, so it's not the same one. It's dead though. And your last rev of room. Mm -mm. 
What? How many Pokemon do you have, sir? Dun, dun, dun. Now your last one. <laughs> I'll fight fire to the binary. I'll fight on to the binary. Pa pa da pa pa pa. Spin out. Well, you're dead. Okay. Oh, you didn't die one hit. Wow. That's very surprising. Toss a debris. Stop and tantrum. You're dead now, right? Yeah. Toss a debris. Mm -mm -mm. Ba -ba -ba. Know. Forgive me, my friends. A year and a half ago. What? Forgive me, because it did, it did lead time to restore the required materials. Sick. These boots are insane. Oh, yes, the new flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I really wish to create a costume worthy of the great infernal area. It aligns with your vision. Then I am content. As soon as our outfits or upgrades are all, all wrapped up, then thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like an absolute beast, anyone across this will be a sweat and bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those pull people bullying you because you geek out over ever old fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way the ninja is rough and fought with thorns, I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the oh, wrong person. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out. World Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, dang, let's move on to the next chance step. It's time to put our bats into our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honing my battle skills. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Indubitably. For the sake of the team, I would not give away my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to do it keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Mm -mm. Oh, look at this. I'm so proper. We did the thing. Take this contraption to it and has a technique. Now, I was wondering how the frozen gunk. It's gunk shot. If I do. Cody's that name. You have bested. You have utterly bested me, but the victory started no bitterness within me. Such was his brilliance. Don Atticus. My compadre. It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we will all be able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay. We've heard not a whisper since the fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star did not carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We're no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns. You evidently trust this big boss. There's a great deal. Who exactly are they? Truth, none of us have met in the flesh. By their own word, they are recluse, as with the rest of us. To have seen bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our visuals from the bases awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But still, the chair thing that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You got a lot of fun compadre, compadre and me, and don't forget it. 
Matra Padre, uh, you did dead. Seems we have one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea these issues the students are struggling with. That friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do, I couldn't just see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha. <laughs> I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Me thinks I've been mistaken. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Team Star is pretty cool. Definitely better than Team Yell. That's for sure. Heck, they probably better than Team Soul too. Well, tall, 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 tall. It's me, Cody. I can start my years now. Oh. I see. Now that the bosses has been taken down, the Navi squad stays are numbered. Now Atticus too. Sorry, y'all. I'm on my mind right now. Our first Starfire was taking down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. Seems like a good time to let you know we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that required the that recruit first recruited the five bosses and created the Team Star. They call the Big Boss. Who is the Big Boss? Who knows? They control the five squads uh, bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare that Team Star is banned, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the boss will finally take to the stage. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 7,000 for that one. Back TMs, they put on more so that they're going to get through with you soon. Here she comes, Penny, yay! Hey, Cody. That does sound like a pretty phone call. I wasn't talking to you. No. Ah! Pum <laughs> pum pum. You gotta love that little Pokemon, he's so cute. So that mastermind you were talking about, Tessapi has mentioned them to me too. Team Star founder, the person who styles all kinds of music at the academy. If we don't take them down now, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean, the stool I've had? Oh, no, I just, uh, that's right, you need your reward here, take it before I forget. Mm hmm. Well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Cody, don't lose to those guys. Alright then. That's it for this episode, guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah. Thank you for visiting Crit City. We look forward to seeing you again. Bye!